Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Bjorning and we are back here with Ayuman here looking for a sword and shield so that he could help to protect the people that we find later on and we have found a battered shield of Kingstead which is good it's that probably means that it's not going to be one that's going to be grabbed by one of the soldiers because obviously if it's a top condition one I'm sure that one of the real soldiers will be needing it yeah, let's see we need a sword now well I guess if the town guard there is ignoring this sword it can't be one in oh is this rusty or something or what a spare sword left unattended for some reason all right, I found a sword. Hello there. These lands were once so fair. Ah, oh, these will do nicely. They have seen many a battle, Pineclaw, but such arms will aid me well enough. If Edric truly wishes me gone, we shall go, but I will take up arms for the people of Kingstead. All right. And now I am to ride south Toward East Fold. Hello. Oh, okay, that's what they did. I was wondering why he disappeared for a moment, and the reason he disappeared is so they could bring up a new version of him that was armed. All right, but we're not going to run all the way up to where we're going. We are going to ride along the road, and the road is down this way. Now, unfortunately, we are unlikely to go through this without running into several people along the way, but hopefully we won't get too much trouble. And unfortunately, these are mounted enemies, and mounted enemies have a way of sticking to you like glue forever. At least that's, sometimes it feels that way. At least until you hit the point. Oh, okay. Well, there's a... Well, there's an old cart. That's not going to be any trouble whatsoever. All right. Oh, oops! Way off the road. Sorry about that. Uh, 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 uh. See what I mean? Especially if you go off the road. Though, of course, we've got. Ooh, rooks! You're wondering. They're also wandering onto the roads. So the roads aren't exactly safe. No sign of a Leofot, so let's continue riding south. Onward, onward. Uh, here's a Ford. Oh, okay, let, let's go to the farmhouse. Now, the reason you saw me jump over that Ford is because back when they first released Western Rohan, there were a number of boards where you be dismounted. I think they've taken care of all of those, but old habits. All right. Hello there. Have you seen a group of people go by recently? Will you aid the horse lords? Of course I heard them pass. How could I not? You have a steed, I? Well then, right after them. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, brothers, we have not the time for this. Yeah, all right, well. Let's see what we've got here. Well, you would think that with all those orcs in the area that we that they would be okay. Okay, tell me, how do you have grain at this level at the beginning of March? I mean, really? I mean, is Rohan really that clement? What business have you with the Rohirrim? I have little time to chat. And nay, I have not seen the people you speak of. Why flee from Aldberg? I would think Edoras more secure. And what is to become of the Wade? I must be ready, excuse me. Well, as for Edoras, well, they've already evacuated that. So, and now up here, now he, you see he's upstairs <laughs> in the tower. Or I guess it's a windmill. I mean, what other type of tower would a farmer have? Okay, uh, let's 
be up here. And here we go. Hi there. Have you seen a party go by? You, you seem to have a nice high view. Will you aid the horse lords? I I must not be curt, but many things must be set in order before my fellows and I ride to Adaras at Eowyn's request. Uh, to answer you, I, I saw them pass in the last hour, in a fairly slow pace. Should you ride swiftly, you have no doubt that you, you will find them along the road. Okay, good, he did see them. So, therefore, let's get down here. And, yeah, I'll have to resummon him when I get there, since obviously he disappeared while I was going along on my war steed. So let's head back down in this direction. Did I miss the road? Alright, here we go. Trying to do this without running into every Uruk and Orc that's in the zone. Alright, here we go. Ah, oh, there's the road right there. Good. And yes, if we're playing a race where you can actually do mount combat reasonably well, then. Ah! I might be going after these folk with more alacrity, but. For me, I'm sorry. I just can't get into doing mounted combat on a melee character. I think I've said that enough times to burn your ears. Oh, good grief. I don't think I've ever run into so many opponents while doing... while coming to this one spot here. Usually it's pretty free of opposition. Especially since you have to spend time here in order to look at all these objects. Since, you know, you had this flash go up there, a special message. Please read this. This is important for your quest line. But you can't because you're in the middle of battle. And since it's mounted combat, you really can't sit around and... Uh, well, at least we know how they all got killed. What happened to them? <laughs> Disappeared? Oh. Alright, well, okay, fine. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah, I have discovered the grim scene of the people of the Entway that were all. Yeah, this. These are the remains of the people of the Entway, and you can see it didn't go very well. The White Wizard has taken everything from us. What horror! All of them! The old and the young cut down. They were innocent, Pineclaw. Innocent and still the Uruk slew them all. <sighs> I I cannot bear to see my fellows like this. Entwade may yet stand, but in truth, it is already fallen. They deserve so much better than this fate. I shall not allow the wargs of the White Hand to strip what remains of their dignity. Come then! Let us bury them, and perhaps then they shall find the peace that they so hope for. Alright, so let's bury some of the dead. Yeah, I know. I helped to convince them to leave, and yeah, look what it got them. Unfortunately, nowhere. And of course, you see, you only bury a few of them, and a specific few of them. All right, and last of all, of course, lay a flood. Done. These lands were once so fair. Stay your hand, Pine Claw. Alas, for brave Leoflad, she must have been overwhelmed by their numbers. For both her honor and for Edric, she must be returned to the Entwade. I will handle this task myself, friend. 
Edric needs to see her, and he needs time to grieve for the loss, even if he thinks time is short. Right? It's a sad thing to watch your lands die. Edric must be told what happened here, and not a moment too soon. Poor Leoflod, I have known her since she was a girl. She was trained well in the art of swordplay, and I grieve that she did not remain in the way to aid us. And now, I fear for Edric. Truly I do. Such a loss would break the strongest man, were there only more time to mourn. I will prepare dear Leoflod for travel, and I shall bear her to the wade with haste. Prepare her steed, Pineclaw, and leave the rest to me. Alright, so let us go and prepare a steed. And now you think that Okay, I thought I saw a steed here earlier, but I guess not. No, but of course the steed that they intended us to use is back at the farm and hopefully I can get there without upsetting every single Uruk in Kingstead. Alright. And here we go. Oh come on Oh come on good three As I said, I've never run into so many enemies trying to do this quest. You know, a few on the road along the way, that's typical, but at the sites I'm supposed to be at, I mean, and you have these farmers here, what, they're going around farming with all these Uruks running about? Alright. Okay, and I ready a horse there? It is a sad thing to watch your lands die. Well done, Pineclaw. Now then, allow me to ready Leofod for her final journey. Such a brave woman. All right. These lands were once so fair. These are the grimmest of times that I have known, Pineclaw. We, while I thank you for your aid, I wish our task could not have been less tragic. Edric must be told of what has happened, even if it wounds him greatly. All who already lost today must be mourned, and the Wade must hold in their honor. Meet me in Went Wade, Pineclaw, and it is there that we shall speak more. All right, and... Why in the world is... Snowborn? Aider... Okay, I can understand why I have an Aider, but if I had to... Milestones, you would think that I would have sent one to the end way to make things a whole lot easier. I can understand keeping it at eight or S if I had only one milestone. But if you have two, you Hey Oh pay attention. Alright, there we go. Move forward and oh yeah, I gotta remember to Now we go. Let's make some speed and get out of here. Out of here and back to the Entwade, where I can find out what else is happening down there, where things went pretty grim and pretty quickly. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, good grief! I took the wrong road. Well then, yeah, alright, well, I'll get myself on the right path and beat you over in Entweight when I'm back. I am here in Aderas, and yes, I forgot about Gandalf here. Hello Gandalf, what's up? Blackall, uh, good you're here. The Eastfold has need of you, my friend. To the Eastfold. Uh, hello there, Pineclaw. It is good to speak with you again. However, the circumstances could be better. Though Aylmer has been freed already, word has been made in, in this way to the Eastfold, where he is reeved. 
The people, I am sure, would be pleased to hear it, and the news could be bolster their spirits. Ride to the former capital of Rohan, Aldberg, and give the people there the news. And while you are there, be sure to lend a hand. I fear that the Eastfold will be vulnerable for most of their men heading our west. Yes. Be wary, though. The road to Alberg may be dangerous in these days. This is a level 88 area. Now, where's the level 87 area? Because we are in... We're questing... Well, we were in Kingstead... Uh, I mean, at Entwade, and we were at level 86. Adres and the Epic Storyline are both 88. I do not know if we will survive this onslaught. So what's in between? Well, we do have quite a number of things here. Now, maybe it's maybe it's Middlemead. That's a possibility. But let's head back. We'll worry about Middlemead later if necessary. For the moment there, uh, we are coming back here and to deliver some very bad news to the Reed. And not, I mean, Thane, Thane, he, he's only a Thane, the... the who is the Reeve of Kingstead? Well, actually, the name Kingstead implies that the king accessed the Reeve himself. I don't know if that's really true, but that would make sense. Though, of course, logic doesn't always apply in naming titles, and... Oh, he, he's gotten here already. Hi, young man, hello there. Sorry about my little round side trip down to Aderas. The White Wizard has taken everything from us. Ah, you have made it, Pineclaw. Edric is not well, my friend. He may seem lost in thought, but I see a blind hate building within him. Ooh, that's never good. And it was also never good are the rewards for Bjornings in this area here. Well, yeah, this is Madam Hunter gloves. Yeah, these... Well, yeah, well, the Vitality is double... I guess I have to get it for the Vitality. So that's the Vitality emphasis. That's the adrenaline. So obviously, I want the Vitality one, but still not... Not good for my... Captain's Dagger, Fortified Gloves. Certainly not good for my might score, that's for sure. Hello there. The enemy must be punished for encroaching upon our lands. I desire not to speak, Pineclaw. Ioman has told me of my people. And Leofad. Edric stares into the distance, eyes glazing over until he suddenly turns to you. What use have I to remain here? We will travel to Aderas and speak with Eowyn, and that will be the end of it. Come, ride with me now. The end of it. Well, let's see. This course, this will be more rewards that I don't have much use for. What's he going to do when we go to Aderas? We'll find that out in our next episode of Piney Plays of the Bjorning.